Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in form 4, lesson 23. And the topic is livestock production 6. And the subtopic uh, is the, uh, the milking uh, procedure. Uh, on to the lesson uh, objective. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to highlight the procedure followed uh, during uh, milking. Uh, the first, uh, the milking procedure include number one, uh, assembling of milking equipment. The milking equipment include the following. Uh, the first one, uh, the milking stool. We have uh, the milking bucket. Uh, you have the milking jerry. Uh, then you have uh, the straining rope. Uh, then you have the strip cup. Uh, then we have the milking uh, gloves. Uh, because some people normally use gloves, uh, but it is not a must, uh, but it is uh, advisable to use a mask uh, to prevent uh, the, 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 the friction, the friction between the hand and the, the, the teeth. And therefore, when there is that friction, uh, the, the animal will feel pain and that is a negative environment uh, which will interfere with the milk let down our system. Uh, then we we'll go to the second procedure, you restrain, uh, restraining of a cow. But um, to some extent, some of the cows need not to be uh, restrained because they are not stubborn. But for those uh, uh, animals which normally kick their legs, uh, you are supposed to restrain them so that you can avoid them from uh, uh, causing the milk uh, to spill. Then we have number three, uh, washing of the udder. Uh, the udder should be washed using warm uh, water and uh, because the warm water is a positive environment which will stimulate uh, the milk uh, let down uh, system. Uh, then we have uh, uh, that, uh, drying, uh, drying of the udder. Uh, you're supposed to use uh, the second towel which is dry so that you can properly dry the udder before the uh, milking is done. Then you're supposed to check uh, of mastitis, checking of mastitis. You're supposed to use a strip cup as you can see in this diagram it is well illustrated and therefore you, stri you strip two, uh, uh, several uh, strips into the uh, strip cup so that you can uh, identify the symptoms of mastitis infection. Then uh, after that you uh, put the milking bucket or a milking pail under the udder and finally you put a milking stool uh, at the right side of the animal which is uh, to be milk. Uh, then you sit on that uh, milking stool, then you start, uh, you quickly uh, and evenly do the act action of milking. And remember, why are you supposed to uh, quickly and uh, to milk uh, quickly and evenly? Because the effect of hormone oxytocin normally takes a very short period of time, about five minutes. And therefore, you are supposed to be, uh, to be through with the milking act uh, activity uh, within five uh, uh, minutes because uh, the, the, the milk uh, let down system will be in action uh, so that you can uh, remove all the milk uh, from the other. Then uh, there are post milking uh, practice and these are the activities which are done uh, after uh, milking activity. Uh, the first one you are supposed to strain the milk, straining of the milk. Uh, straining of the milk entails using of a milk strainer to remove the hair which might uh, uh, which might have fall, fallen into the uh, milking vessel and therefore you remove them by the use of a milking strainer. Then the second one we have weighing of the, uh, weighing of the milk. Uh, you use the weighing equipment to weigh the milk and finally, after weighing the milk, uh, the, the, you record the quantity of the milk in the your record book, record uh, book, uh, where by, by you can see that there is a record uh, here uh, for written. Uh, there is a column from a month and uh, morning and evening. 
and also there is a room where you're supposed to fill the month and also the year and the dates they are written uh, from number one up to 31st so if it is january you just uh, write the month of january and the year uh, you write the year uh, for example if it, if it is year 2020 you write year 2020 in that uh, particular uh, area then after recording uh, after recording uh, you uh, you store all you store the milk in the cooling equipment uh, this increase the refrigerator and also we have the deep freezer and uh, are waiting for uh, for the milk to be transported to the dairy or to be supplied to the people uh, or to your customers they can be local customer consumers uh, you can see there is a person there uh, the person is taking the milk or is distributing the milk is taking the milk to the milk dairy uh, where the the farmer normally sell their milk uh, through the dairy cooperatives then after that uh, you after coming out uh, uh, coming uh, from the uh, dairy you are supposed to uh, wash and and sterilize your milking utensils you can see uh, they are thoroughly washed and also they are dried by the uh, heat of the sun and the uv rays of the sun are meant for sterilizing the equipment then uh, after that you're supposed to go to the milking parlor or the milking stall where the milking exercise was carried out and you do the dara uh, cleaning uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson and i will mark the end of this lesson by giving you assignment the first question is uh, explain the procedure followed during milking and number two you're supposed to explain any four post milking uh, practices for reference you can refer uh, from secondary agriculture student book form and the publisher is the kenya literature bureau for more information or if you'd like to clarify something uh, something from us you can reach us at Erim tv using the following addresses the first one sms using the number which is well displayed uh, there then you can also use youtube at Erim tv uh, the facebook uh, platform at Erim tv and also uh, twitter at Elim TV underscore okay. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson. Uh, bye bye.